this eclipse will be it's it will eclipse, eclipse other eclipses it w in a lot of ways it will and I'll you can tell watch you it what. in your eclipse you can car. watch yeah. it precisely <laughs> and it it's sort of worlds within worlds all the eclipses come together um, this one is crossing the United States specifically and exclusively so look we're a, a very vain people we could be forgiven our egotism and think this is a gift from the cosmos for us <laughs> it is random of course but it's a little bit like Woodstock in that it comes in a summer of our profound discontent and this cosmic phenomenon crossing the nation knowing no particular region is just the kind of uplift we're going to need this summer. So it's a unifying force I, for I the country? I think it is. Well, yes, because it makes, it elevates us. I mean, look at this wonderful thing that's happening, a sky show just for us, but it also humbles us. We are small people on a small planet being shown this grand cosmic spectacle. I have my parents and all kinds of relatives who are driving to South Carolina, to North Carolina to see this. I'm not. I'm going to try and watch it from, from here. Am I crazy? Well, I mean, you will not get <laughs> <Yes>. anything like <laughs> the full effect. I have seen one cosmic eclipse, one solar eclipse rather. It was a transformative experience and it really reminds you, no matter how proud we are of our 21st century empirical brains, I had kind of a 12th century fear as I was watching it because it's the cosmos behaving like they're not supposed to. It's really extraordinary. There will, however, be a lot of live streaming 3D experiences of it, and we will have one on time.com, so if you have the right equipment, it's almost Where like Where will being you there. be for the eclipse? I will be in Casper, Wyoming. We had originally planned to be in Hopkinsville, Tennessee, which will have the longest period of totality, but our trail boss and the man of time who coordinates this, a guy named Jonathan Woods, did all of the preliminary research and realized Casper, Wyoming, of all the main cities in the path of the, path of the eclipse, has the lowest seasonal likelihood of cloud cover. Right, so you're best, ah. you're most so we're likely going to see it there. High elevation. Elevation. What happens if it is cloudy? What will we see? Nada. You'll see a great deal of weeping among millions of people who try <laughs> to be there. Um, you can still, depending on what and how, how dense the cloud cover is, you'll still see certain measures. You'll see the, the odd color of the sky turns. You'll see a sort of fill filtered sun behind it, but it does pay to be, people who are watching it on water are very smart because you can then duck out under the cloud covers. But, you know, clouds are simply a non-negotiable risk when you're watching an eclipse. Even if you get the full view for the longest period of time, it's only like two minutes. It's two full. minutes and 40 seconds. That's maximum totality. But I'm telling you, they can be two minutes and 40 seconds of transformative experience. It's just, it, it's transcendent. We've heard all these reports about the National Guard getting called out already in some of these areas. These are small towns of 8,000 right. or less that could be besieged by 150,000 people. That's is right. Is that a real concern? To it is a real concern. One of the places in Oregon we talked about in, in the story we have in the magazine this week has a nominal population of 6,500. They will have a population of 150,000 for a couple of days. But I'm glad very briefly that you brought up Apollo 8 because I'll tell you something. That famous Earthrise picture, this was a hinge point for humanity because this was the first time we saw the Earth not just as a horizon beneath us, which is even in, even orbiting astronauts only see it that way. It was the first time we saw the Earth as a full, fragile Christmas ball hanging in space, and it gave us a sense of how fragile it is. Photographing the eclipse, while not exactly the same, will give us that sense of this sort of what are you going to use as your glasses? Glass. I keep seeing we got to order glasses or you buy do, glasses. Or. Yes, and there is there the, there's a particular kind of glasses that you have to use until the moment of totality, and then when it is total, you can take it off and watch it with the naked eye. But, but then put it back on really. And then put it back on really <laughs> fast, and be careful because there are, as always happens, glasses. counterfeit glasses flooding the market. Oh, the American yeah. Ast uh, Ast Astronomical Society and NASA both have guides online about what brands are, are reputable and what That's outlets. Easy are reputable to buy. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.